rain commences. Rain of the Marginis. Goodbye. Could you track the signal? Negative, Mr. President. This terrorist had every single TV signal. All the citizens in the world watch the transmission. Don't call him terrorist. Do you even believe that bomb he's holding is real? He's just another hacker pretending to be a national threat. Oh, I am a national threat, Mr. President. Have that for sure. What? Shoot him. Bad move, pal. I'm not sure whether you watch the news, but now I'm in charge. And don't try anything funny, Mrs. President. We don't want more collateral damage than the required, huh? We are receiving live images from the White House, where there was some sort of attack some minutes ago. Citizens of the world, I am the President of the United States, and I have an important message for you. Soon things will change. The Moratinis are manufacturing hundreds of bombs ready to be launched to every country on the globe. In one hour, every President must give up, otherwise his country is going to be blown up. Give up your hopes of salvation. You heard the lady. Time's running. Is this really going to... I'm sorry guys, I forgot my keys. If I ever had any. Son of a... Alec, you're back! Dude, where have you been? I'll tell you all about it, but we need to leave now. By any chance, have you seen the Moratinis? The Moratinis? No, but they just showed up on the TV. Coincidentally, yes, I wanted to record my show, so I left the recorder on. Your plan isn't gonna work. Nobody will give up to you because of some bomb that doesn't even exist. I know. I guess we will have to show the world that this is not a joke, huh? Let's hope they enjoy the fireworks. Give up your hopes. Damn it, guys. We have to leave. I think I know what they're planning. Hold on, sir. We don't even know who you are or anything. Kid, we don't have time to explain. Well, I'm not going anywhere until you explain. I know, it's practically none of my business. But I think we're already part of this, don't you, Alec? Uh, yeah, I guess you're right. Five minutes, Albert. Okay, fine. It all started seven years ago. The Schulz, our family, were very powerful in Germany. The Moritinis, on the other hand, were an ambitious Italian mafia who asked my father to support them in a little project. The Moritinis were creating a bomb capable of destroying cities. They only needed someone to help them mass produce it, so they could dominate the world. My father is... was... a good man. He rejected the offer and stole the bomb from the Moratinis to prevent a nuclear catastrophe. He did not know that this would start a war between our family and the Moratinis. They planted bombs on our cars, tried to infiltrate our homes. But they never got to my father. He was the only man alive who knew where the bomb was hidden. Until the attack occurred, nearly six years ago, our waiter opened the doors of the house letting the entire Martini family to enter inside. That man, the waiter, he betrayed us all. And since my father never lost a single word, they went with plan B, attacking the house. When our dad realized we were under attack, he told us to leave the country and change our names, because the whole mafia were gonna be looking for us. After Alec and Andrew were gone, my dad took a piece of paper and wrote some numbers on it, as fast as possible. There were coordinates pointing to the location of the bomb. It was in a secret facility on the North Pole. He never explained me what to do. He just told me... Leave, goddammit! And so, I left. I thought he was going to escape as well, but he had other plans. 
The bomb. Tell them where it is. Now. It's very far away from here. It's the end of the line, Mr. Schultz. There's no escape this time. There are always sacrifices someone has to do to stop men like you. He gave his life to stop Don Maritini, and yet they won. Afterwards, since I didn't have the money to go to the North Pole, I joined a clan of bounty hunters. They were like brothers to me, but they were corrupt and betrayed me. And now, the Maritini's have the bomb. He's one step close to ruling the world. Oh, come on, you guys. You're really gonna let some crazy mob who can pass himself off as the president win? Please. Hello again, world. Just a small update. 40% of the presidents have surrendered to me. Well, crap on a stick. But what happened to the rest? Do you think I'm a joke? I am not joking here. Well, I understand it. I mean, what proof do I have? If proof is what you want, then proof is what you get. Pay close attention to the destructive power of the mob as I blow this town to pieces. Son of a... Ray? I'm scared. <laughs> Me too. I mean... <clears throat> Don't worry. I'll protect you. I don't think your skinny arms will be enough to protect you, Ray. Come on, take the important stuff and let's get the hell out of here. Mr. Gonzalez, take only the thing that matters the most and follow me. Come on, guys, fast. Seriously, Dean? This president, wake up. You wouldn't want to miss this for the world. Okay, Brian, my signal. Understood. Damn! Ray? Ray? What the hell are you doing here? No! Shit, goddammit! Dad, stop! Dad, it's me! Ray! Is your dad the way it is, your mother dad? Dad, you're not a terrorist! Stop this right now! Uh, think for a second! What would mom say? Shoot now! I don't care if it's your son! Blow that town to pieces! I'm sorry, but I can't kill my own son. I didn't kill your wife for nothing. Shoot that bomb. What? You told me Schultz killed my wife. You lied to me. <laughs> oh yes, I killed her so you could help us get the bomb. I know, you did an amazing job. Too bad now I have to kill you as well. I'm afraid I won't let you do that. Wait! 